So we're going to open up um, airbrush. So from airbrush, you can actually see from library. So let us go let's to the download. So let me just the main image. Okay, that we can work with. Okay, let us assume this is our image. So these are tools down here. You can see every one of it has its name. This is for retouch. You can see this panel. This is for retouching. So in this aspects, retouching aspect, we have magic, we have sculpt, we have reshape. Let's leave down for now. We have smooth, we have acne. Acne means all those spots on our faces. We have foundation, like add the foundation into the face. Something like this. Oh, let us scroll. So we have texture, we have frame, skin tone. Skin tone is the color of the skin. You can actually change it to maybe something lighter or lighter. Or make it more lighter. You can see. You can just change our skin tone or change the color of our skin totally. See, well, let us go back to normal. So, here, what we need to do first is for us to clean this um, acne. So, we go to acne, you clean it. You can use auto, go to auto. Let us see what auto can do. I think auto is not doing it well. Click okay, go back to acne again. Now, zoom out and try to pick them one by one. Anyone you can see, pick them after one another. Okay, but to make this work faster, I think I don't want us to just buy cut because it's not everything. That magic will work for so I don't want us to buy cut magic. So let us go. We're able to go now. So you can see how rough the face is. Yes. So let us go back to smooth. Heavy smooth. Go to preset. From your preset, you actually see something that is looking nice. You can see that it's looking nice. And the texture is coming out more and more. It's coming out more and more. Okay, I think I love this. Let's go. Okay. Okay, so if you still zoom it out, you can see see that. We are not there yet, so let us go and use magic. Let's see what magic can do. Ow! So magic actually smoothing it up. It added face width, chin, nose, lips, acne, it removed everything, and coloring. So that's what magic can do for you. Even the teeth, it wasn't the teeth. It brightens the eye, the eye, and it added the skin tone to it. So you cannot make it more, or you reduce it. You can see it's as simple as ABC. You can see. So here we have our image. Let us click and go. So it's as simple as this. So let us go to tools. You can rotate like you want to rotate. You can crop, you down, you can stretch, you can erase. Like you want to take something out of this image, which you don't any part you don't want. You can erase it or do it so that it won't distort the image. Let us go to this stamping. It's something maybe you are you are actually a professional. You can see. See the work of stamping. I can actually cut something. Then I can actually cut part of the face to fill somewhere else. That is what this blending is for. So we don't actually need that. But let's go to this real light. This real light will help us to change the perspective of where light is shining from. This is custom. This custom you can change. Maybe you want light to shine here, or you want your light to show here, or you here, anywhere you want it to be. You can see as I'm writing this, adding more lights to it. You can see. So I'm changing my light position here. So the face is now brighter. So let us go. You can use all this preset. This studio, studio two, studio three. Studio 4. I think I love this Studio 3. Okay, good. So, bokeh. Bokeh means uh, it's for the background. Like, as soon as we have any background, I want to zoom out. I'll zoom in the background. I can actually use that bokeh or blur. You can blur background to here. But one thing I love about this blur is that it has, uh, what's it called? It has pen features that you can actually use to blur some particular places in any image. You can see. Or use auto. Auto will blur whatever there is. I was it called? You don't want almost especially to blur the background. But this place, I don't need the, uh, the blurring to. This person can leave it. This thing has... This thing has is just for you to add more contrast or reduce contrast on your image or leave it sharpen, just sharpen it a little bit. Saturation, leave it a little bit, okay? Highlight, just it's just the thing of the eyes. As you want it, that's how you want it to be. The brightness, I think the brightness should be left the way it is. Temperature, you cannot, okay? Grain, you can just add a little grain. Just like how many points? Just five, six points or five points of grain. It's good. We are good to go through netting. You can take this out, through netting. So you can see fignetting means there will be a color on the black shadow casted at the side of the piston. Like we are seeing it here, you can see I took it off, I increased it. So let us take out fignetting. I think we are good to go. So now, another thing for us to do is go to filter. You can add whatever filter, download it, just go through it. And I think the basic, I've actually covered most of the important things that you need here. Makeup too. You go to makeup, you set the leaves, you can change the leaves, change the leaves color to whatever it is, blush. Change the blush, the contour, change the contour, all those things that what you can play with the eyebrow. Change the eyebrow, you can increase or decrease it. 
the eyelashes you want to add eyelashes to it let me do something very simple okay something very simple eyeliner you add eyeliner into it add shadow you add, add shadows to it yeah i think we're good to go let me add, okay i love this one okay let us go eye color the color of the eyes you can actually change it you can see I think you're good to go. So that's all about this. You go to makeup, you go to air. You can change the air too. So you really want to add air that you want to type the air. Or you want to change the color of the air. But this one is not having much of the air, so you can't really work on it. Let us go. Let us go to air bank. So air bank, I think it's complaining about my network. Jesus. I think we are good to go like this. Good to go, good to go, good to go. So go to creative if you want to add like maybe glitters to one of these nose parts. Something like this, or something around this chain. Look, it's done. So, something like that. Okay, so the color, you want to change the color or whatever. Take this color away. You can do the color the way it is. I think it's cool like this. Yeah. We are good to go. Good to go. So, with this, you're having a very bright and nice image. You can see, you're having a very bright and nice image. But in advanced class, I will teach us how you can use. Uh, you can sharpen up this image yeah, it will look very solid still with this image with this uh, phone